For this video, I'll be focusing on a comparison between two of the loveliest editions of East of the Sun, West of the Moon, with Kay Nielsen's incomparable illustrations. I think these are some of the most exquisite illustrations in children's literature of all time. First published in 1914, East of the Sun and West of the Moon is a celebrated collection of 15 fairy tales, gathered by legendary Norwegian folklorists Peter Christian Ebjørnsen and Jürgen Engebretsen Mo on their journeys across Norway in the mid-19th century. The folio edition is a faithful facsimile of that original 1914 Hodder and Stoughton volume. While the Tashen edition has been beautifully redesigned and includes double-page spreads and fascinating essays that are illustrated with many additional artworks by Nielsen. One of the first things you'll notice is the size difference. Tashen's volume is much taller and thinner than the folio edition. The Tashen slipcase is a half case with a very pretty design but very flimsy materials and it's unlikely to stand up to any rough handling. The folio slipcase, on the other hand, is typically robust, but made of simple plain red boards. Similar to the original book, folio has an elegant cover featuring gilt cover and spine designs on cream vegetable parchment boards with silk headbands. The tension is much more bright and colourful and is brightly illustrated on both front and back boards. Feature the same stunning ink papers on the front and the back. Folio follows the original design with a frontispiece and front matter, only modified to include the Folio Society name. Tashin opens with close details of Nielsen's artwork and several sensitively designed new introductory pages. The title page includes reference to the additional essays and appendix in this volume. The folio book opens with a short illustrated preface. The paper is thick and luxurious and the print is large and clear. opens with the preface followed with an essay on the origins of Norway's folk tales, history and background information, beautiful images, design work, Nielsen's life, fantastic detail, glorious double page spreads, so many stunning illustrations and lots of fascinating history. To compare the size of the images, the Tashin are very much larger. The layout
layout and design is really beautiful in the Tashin, although the text is smaller and the pages are much thinner. See the Folio Society reproduction images is to a beautiful standard, but so is the quality of the Tashin. The Folio Society book is out of print, but copies aren't terribly difficult to find on the second hand market. The Tashin edition is still available new, and I think it's so gorgeous it's well worth the price. I put links in the description box to help you find whichever edition takes your fancy. Happy reading and see you next time!